to the Kawaii Kids Club. Today we are going to use our little patches that are in this kit. And basically it's a piece of canvas that's already been prepared. So you can paint on it and then you're gonna need a needle. I like to use bigger needles so that I can use bigger thread and I, I put thread in your box for you. So, bing, don't do that actually. This is something you're gonna need help with from your parents. So I didn't add a needle in the box just cause they're dangerous and they can hurt you. And so you're really gonna need some help and you're going to need your um, parents to provide you with a needle and to help you sew it but without the needle you can still make your little painting so yeah I'm very inspired by strawberries I painted this strawberry and then I also just bought this little basket of strawberries from the market me and lavender have been enjoying them and so it's already halfway gone and I thought I would just I don't know, uh, paint a strawberry because of that. So I'm going to set up my paint and get started. Okay, so for this painting, I'm going to be using red paint, white paint, a little green paint. Okay, so I'm gonna use this bigger brush to just get my strawberry shape down, which is a very, soft triangle basically like it comes down with a point but it's not a pointy point and then it has three sides again not pointy sides so I've been really into strawberries and painting strawberries for a while and I really love in California when they make the little truck stands with fruit on the side of the road and in order to get your attention they paint these big signs with cherries and strawberries on them and I think they're so beautiful and also uh, the strawberry was the first kind of motif used by Sanrio, which is the very kawaii company um, that first came out. And they're the ones who, who made Hello Kitty and Choco Cat, all your favorite kawaii characters. So yeah, I'm just gonna teach you how to draw this strawberry, but you can draw whatever you want on your little patches. You could do a little panda. You could do the Sheba or a bunny or a banana. It's really up to you. Okay, so see what I've done? I have a little strawberry here. So now I'm just gonna give it a couple layers and let it dry. I'm keeping it fairly small because I'm sewing this on to a garment and I just want there to be plenty of white space. Also, if you want your background to be another color like this pink color or you know any other color you like, you can start with that. Just paint the whole canvas first, let it dry and then paint your little art piece on top. So there we have it. All right, let's let that dry and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so my paint has dried for the most part, or at least enough to put my little strawberry seeds in. So this part, it's not really the exact same as a real strawberry. See, if you look at a real strawberry, it has little seeds, but they're so small and they're almost more yellow than white. But I'm just kind of creating more of some look that pops. So my white seeds are just these little dots. I'm trying to keep them as small as possible, but it's not easy, just so you know. And I, sh I probably should spread them out more, that one little line that I did in the beginning. I guess kind of helped give it some structure, but for the rest of the dots, I'm just doing them in a very organic way and that means that they're spread around and they don't really go in any straight line they just are happening all over in a very natural way and they are kind of spaced out the same It's pretty fun. As you can see, I'm just adding little dots. Painting is so relaxing. A good idea is to just set up a little area for yourself with paints and all your supplies. So they're nice and handy. And you can just paint whenever you're feeling bored or stressed or anxious or happy or sad painting is just a great activity so there we have it all those adorable little strawberry seeds okay now I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna make the strawberry top so I'm going to start with a circle here. And then just kind of go along the top of the strawberry like it's a leaf. See that? And then there's another one here. making the stem and I should probably wait a little while before I do the leaves that come down onto the strawberry because my white paint is still drying so I'm gonna finish these top parts and then I think I'll add a little white paint to my green because my green is very translucent it's not a it's not an opaque paint and opaque means that the paint is very thick and you can't really see the layers through it and translucent means that I can kind of see through the screen the red underneath so I'm gonna do some color mixing here and make my green a little more opaque by adding white paint to it.
see how that just makes it so much more opaque. Okay, hopefully my white paint, my little seeds have dried because I'm just going to add a leaf there. See how that already looks like a strawberry once I add these little leaves? And one there. Cute! What the heck? That might be the cutest strawberry I ever did see. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a little bit of pink here. And I'm gonna add, I really should wait for this to dry, but I'm so excited. Actually, you know what, I have to wait for it to dry. I'm just gonna add a couple pink details, like in this one, just to give the leaves more dimension. So I'm gonna add a little stripies in the leaves, and yeah. So while that's drying, I'll show you what I'm going to. Sew this onto. Alright, I'm going to add my little pink details now. They're very subtle just to give it a little touch. All right, now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna sew it on, so just one moment. Okay, getting my paints out of the way. Bringing in my needle. Here we go. It's strawberry right here so it'll be super cute and before I sew I'm gonna hold them in place with little pins hopefully you guys will easily be able to find a dollar store or something where you can get needles and pins or hopefully you just have them around the house will need them for this project. I also was considering sewing this uh, strawberry onto my overalls, but I just think the blue really pops. that's big like that. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. I tie it at the end. I tie it into a knot. And then I start on one corner. it through and then go around. It's just not 
dry and it's not ready yet. 